Hey, how's it going everyone? It's your boy here, D1S3NT Descent. I just got done streaming Overwatch. Um, and it didn't go so good. It did not go so good at all. Uh, I actually ended up deleting Overwatch from my hard drive because I've become so frustrated with the game. I was trying to have fun. Uh, I was trying to uh, be friendly with all my teammates and just have a ball and just like get through some some uh, missions and stuff like that knocking out the push to payload uh, controlling the point but it just got to the point where I, I said you know what I think I'm done I think it's a good stopping point I played this game for a year or yeah a year now uh, over a hundred plus videos I pretty much did all I could in Overwatch. There isn't much content in the game that, that really interests me anymore besides mystery heroes. Um, one of the annoying things is I'm tired of being paired up with people that don't know how to play the game. Um, Blizzard has made an update so that if a very high level person is on a team, they're gonna fill in those other spots with lower level players who just want to goof off and, and uh, emote and not push the payload or get on the point. And unless I'm playing with five other friends, uh, I'm really not going to enjoy myself playing the game. Because you can only lose so many times to the point where it's just like, okay, I'm no longer having fun with this game anymore. Uh, I'm the only man pushing the payload, or it's just me and another person just pushing the payload, or it's just me and another person controlling the point while the rest of our team is trying to kill one Genji, or, or one sniper that's in the corner or on the top of a building or something, and uh, we, we just get wrecked by the entire team, um, and it, it just doesn't become fun anymore when we're not making any progress. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just tired of playing Overwatch. Um, I wish there was other stuff for our, our, our lower level teammates to contribute to the team. Just like in Titanfall, and the reason why I'm saying that is because Titanfall 2 is right there. Uh, in Titanfall 1, there was little bots, AI bots that the people that wanted to run and gun and, and kill. Uh, bots and stuff like that and, and that will contribute to the points for the entire team uh, It's just very unfortunate that people think that the objective is to kill people not to Kill people and get on the point, but no to try to kill people 24 7 without even touching the point and you and for for instance me like sometimes I get gold and silver all the time um whether it's uh, elimination kills or it's uh, objective kills or stuff like that it i looked at my stats recently on one of the matches that i just finished and it said objective kill one and this was um this was the the echo point map i think it was the one where it's you have to capture the point outside and then you have to capture the point inside the building objective b and it said objective kills one that means nobody else got on the point and killed anybody nobody and you all know me you see my footage I usually get on the little moving platforms and I sneak in on the base and I do it no problem because apparently a lot of people don't um, cover those areas, those higher points. They only cover the door or the, uh, the, the left side where, you, where, they can, uh, where we can sneak in. So everybody's really controlling those upper points and I, I usually sneak in, I do work and, and then I try to do what I can. And it usually leads to gold or silver, um, but I'm finding that happening a lot more often. And I t literally took like 20 days off the game, come back to play the game, and I'm getting gold and silver. I'm just like, nobody else is progressing on my team. Why is this happening? And I'm not even trying hard. That's because they're pairing me up with people who are either just sitting there or emote sitting and saying hello and group up and just taunting and stuff like that and they're not really contributing to the team at all 
And it just sucks that someone who's been playing as long as I am, who has a high level, and who has who has two stars. I have two stars. My wife already prestige. She has the silver portrait, and she's still being paired up with people that are not contributing to the team. And it's really not balanced at all when it comes to pairing you up with these lower level people that don't want to con contribute anything to the team. And it's frustrating because you're you've pl been playing for so long, and your friends they they're moving on to other games. So you continue playing a game that you love, which is Overwatch. But now you're being paired up with people who don't want to play the objective; they just want to fool around. And whether that's uh, that's quick play, mystery heroes, it happens all the time. It even happens sometimes in competitive where a person would just give up on the team. Like, even though you can make an awesome comeback, they just give up and they said, I'm done, I don't, I don't even care anymore. I'm not even having fun. I'm not, I'm not capturing the objective because nobody else wants to do it. So I'm just gonna fool around, and just throw random shots out there and just email and say, and spam hello 24 seven and just hinder the team. And that's what happens. That's what happens now in Overwatch. It, the, the community definitely has changed. And unless you're playing with five other people that have mics, that are your actual friends, that you, or people who are watching your stream from your community that, that want to contribute to helping you succeed in the game, you're not really going to make any progression whatsoever. You're not going to make, get those wins. You're not going to get that SR that you want at the end of the season. You're not going to get there. So, uh, it's gotten to the point where I'm, I'm pretty much done with Overwatch. I played and got my money's worth. Uh, I, I played for a full year, over 100 plus videos. Enjoyed playing with the community, playing with myself, playing with my followers. Just anybody viewing and watching the channel, you know, you, you hit me up and I usually just add you to the team and we play for a little bit. So I enjoyed all those moments and I, I'm I'm going to just leave the game alone, move over to other things, enjoy other games because I'm a variety gamer. As you can tell by just looking at my stuff, Alan Wake, I played recently, did a playthrough. I played some Marvel vs. Capcom. I love fighting games. I love fighting games. Injustice 2 is sitting in, <clears throat> sitting in my Xbox One right now. Need for Speed, WWE 2K16, Assassin's Creed 4, I'm actually playing on on PC right now. So I'm a variety game, so I'm gonna move on to other great games and uh, and say, that's it. I put in the time in Overwatch, I enjoyed myself, let's just leave it at that. So, just wanna let my subs know, my followers know that there will not be any more um, Overwatch gameplay on this channel unless Blizzard drastically makes some huge changes to the game, some new features that, that that'll uh, convince me to come back and play Overwatch. But at this time, I'm tired of Mystery Heroes. I'm, I'm tired of quick play. I'm tired of competitive. I'm tired of um, doing the same stuff over and over again and playing on the same same maps. Uh, and I'm just done, man. Done putting in the time and the work. So that's gonna do it for Overwatch. Until then, I hope to see you all next time for my next video game playthrough. Those of you that just came here strictly for Overwatch, if you want to unsub, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to continue doing what I what I want to do on my channel, playing the games that I want to play on my channel. If you just came here for Overwatch, uh, there's other people that play Overwatch 24-7. Uh, this is not a strictly overwatch only channel this is a variety channel where i play all different types of stuff okay so if you love my gameplay you love the games i play you love my commentary uh please continue to support the channel like it um if you're not a sub sub to the channel more great content to come is what i always say uh i constantly keep bringing new games new varieties only games that I don't really play a sport so don't expect to see any madden or nba on here uh <laughs> but yeah I, if you love the commentary you love the games that i play uh sub to the channel and continue to follow me whether it's on mixer or youtube because uh, those are my platforms that i play and stream on uh until then see you all next time 
for some more video games. Bye-bye.